Having the perfect gear and accessories can be truly beneficial to any content creators out there. It'll make us create a better result or tell a better story of whatever we're trying to capture. The perfect gimbal, the perfect tripod, the perfect camera, the perfect filter. But is the gear that you want or you thought was perfect is actually the right gear for you? Like this circular polarizer right here, or most of us call it the CPL filter. I use this on most of my car photography photo shoots and it does one job and one job for me and that is to remove unwanted reflections on my subjects. So, you think this is a great investment? Only one way to find out. This filter is a KNF Concept CPL filter from Amazon. I got this as a gift last Christmas from a friend and um, I just want to share my thoughts on this product and how it can affect your photography results. You see, there's only one specific reason why I use a CPL filter on my photo shoots, and that is to remove unwanted highlights and reflections on my subjects, which are mostly cars. And as we all know, cars is like a massive mirror on wheels. Here's a reflection, reflection another reflection, reflection, this one. A huge reflection. This kind of filter removes all of that and gives more emphasis on the subject itself without the reflections. Why don't we try this out to see if this is something that you want to get your hands on. We are going to a location that I usually go to whenever I want to take my car in a little photo shoot. Quite a little spot in a local park here in Edmonton. And I think I would consider this as one of the best parks here in the city. So here we are on one of our favorite spots here in the city. I like this spot because there's not a lot of foot traffic in here and it's also quiet. So you can have your peace and while you're having your photo shoot. Also it's great because of this empty space right here. You can maneuver the car however you want it without being an inconvenience to others, which is just a plus. So we're gonna test this KNF concept filter out on this car. You get to see how it, well it performs removing those reflections on the car. Now, first and foremost, I didn't go crazy on placing the car um, on the location because this is just a test of the CPL filter. Now the first frame right here, this is the lens without the CPL filter. And then we're gonna try to put it on and somehow drastically change the exposure of the frame. As you can see, after putting on the CPL filter, you can still see a reflection of the trees and the side of the road on the side of the car. Now, if we're going to twist the CPL filter around, it's going to eliminate almost all of the reflections on the side of the car. It's a big difference from first frame that we've had. Now we're going to try on a different frame right here. This is the taillight of the car. Same as before, this is the lens without the filter on. And we're going to try to put it on again. The far left side of the frame, you can still see a huge chunk of the window or the black panel with a lot of highlights on it and the reflections. Now we're going to try to twist the CPL filter around. And obviously this is, there's a huge difference on the frame now, 10 times better than the first one. So I'm gonna bring the camera closer to the window. So now we can see the windshield has the reflection of the stone wall right here. But if we could twist the, um, now you can see the reflection is now gone. You can see through the window into the interior of the car, which is, I think it's actually better when you're doing car photos. Now, the only downside of this filter is it kind of gives you a hard time twisting it, which ironically is the main function of a CPL filter like this one. The smoothness could be better, but overall, um, it gave amazing results on my photos and my clips. I could see myself using this on my future automotive shoots. Let me know in the comments below if this is something that you would invest on in the future. Now, you saw the car on video. I made a video commercial on that car on this video a few weeks ago. Watch this and see how I edited that commercial video. 
See you guys.